Bam. Let's get started. So, um, here it is White's turn to play. I'm going to give you the theme for these sacrifices. The theme for this sacrifice is called um, the Queen Sacrifice. So, it means you are actually going to sacrifice your Queen and at the end of the day, you are going to get a checkmate. So, you need to think the very deeply um, to see it. After you make your very first move, trust me, um, make your first move and um, not not like you make a first move once you start making your move it is until you checkmate before you stop okay is that clear yes sir good so think about it let's start so how do you checkmate here there are many moves um but only one will be correct you have to force the checkmate no matter what your opponent plays is going to be crushed so think about it or you want me to do this one for you for you to have an idea of what i'm talking about no, sir. Okay, good. So solve it. Let's go. <clears throat> the queen times pawn f7. Okay, continue. Sir, if the rook captures, you bring your rook to e7. To e7? Yes, sir. So uh, the point is, you're saying if this queen captures capture this pawn and the rook captures back, then you're going to bring your rook to e7 here. Is that what you're saying? No, uh, no. Then I'll take. Okay, I wanted to say I'll take your rook now. <laughs> so let's think again. Um, queen to f7, rook no, takes. No. If you take his, if he takes the rook, what, there's uh, another rook on e1. Eh, who cares? I'm gonna. Uh, you've lost your rook and you've lost your. Um, uh, what is it called? Look at it. Let's do it again. Queen takes, rook takes, rook takes. I'm definitely. I mean, rook here. I will use my rook to take, and now you will use your rook to take, isn't it? Now you're threatening a kind yeah. of back rank mate. Uh, well, no problems. What of if I do? Um, um, I will not do. Queen takes pawn here, check. The king grunts inside. I could do queen, check. Your knight interposes. The queen takes knight, checkmate. Thank God for my bishop here. See? That's bad for you. Aha. Queen times pawn f7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rook times queen. Okay. Rook to e8. Okay. And start the rook, the other rook will to interpose. Okay. The yes, the rook will interpose on f8. Okay. So from the. You bring your. Your knight to no sir, now your knight. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help no! you. No, no, no. What you said? What you said? I, I'm just gonna help you. I, I think it's the calculation for you, but you will get there. But let me help a little, just a little bit. Let's look at it. Okay. Uh, you said queen takes pawn check. Rook goes over here. Rook check here, and the rook goes back here. So can you continue from here now? <laughs> so you bring your bishop to f7 come on bishop to f7 to do what the king simply takes the bishop it's simple uh, okay. you have a rook here you are going to meet in two moves that's the hint that's the best i can tell you So 
that you use your rook to capture the rook on e8. On what? E8 or f8? F8. F8. Rook takes rook on f8, and then the king takes the rook back. And now what? Rook to e8, checkmate. Rook to e8, checkmate. Now clap for yourself, man. You see? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. That's it. You, 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 that, I knew you got stuck when you got to this point. Um, uh, when you got to that um, rook, um, rook check. I mean, rook to e8 check. And after rook f8, you got stuck. You see? These are the things you still need to be able to calculate in your head. You know? Do the calculation okay we'll get there it's little by little so let's go next i'm improving your calculation okay 1001 remember and we are still in number two <laughs> we have a long way to go let's go guys so it's why so queen play, yeah. pawn f6 queen times pawn f6 uh-huh then what happens next then to capture the pawn on f6 or capture the queen on f6 Knight capture, knight capture. Your bishop will capture the next, the knight on f6. Check that's, me. That's good. That's interesting. Queen takes, knight takes, um, knight takes, then bishop takes. Uh, what of um, if knight decides to interpose by going to um, g7? Then what do you do? But you still capture. With what? Your queen. Thank you. With the queen, you have to be able to see all those things. Also, there are times your opponent might be able to see, um, play something else. So you should be able to tell me something like this. Um, queen f6, queen captures pawn on f6 check. Now, if the knight captures the queen, my bishop takes the knight back checkmate. Or, after queen f6 check, if the knight goes to g7, my queen takes the knight on g7 checkmate. Do you understand that now? Okay. Good. But what was your original version? The original version is queen takes, knight takes, um, bishop takes checkmate. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh oh, this one is simple. Why to play? So queen and pawn h five. Queen and pawn h five. The rook captures your queen. You have to be able to tell me all these moves. Bishop Don't... g six. Bishop g six. Check me. Thank you. Queen takes. Push rook. Uh, now look at it. What about what if if the rook decides to interpose? So you will take it to which either the queen or bishop. Hey, they have the two. Takes it and it's still a checkmate. Thank you very much. That's it. So please be telling me all these moves, everything, not just one by one. I think I've seen this position before. This position actually happened in real life. <laughs> okay, it's white stone to play. Ah, it's gonna be sweet. Let me see if you can. Let me see if you can do this. It's going to be so sweet. Very very sweet. Let's go. Think about it. White stone to play best way to checkmate mm -hmm. so figure it out really let's go then so nine to c7 okay check then what happens the king has to move to f to F8. Okay. Then what next? You bring your queen to D8. Whoa, whoa, that's wonderful. Okay, so what now happens? The bishop is forced to capture. Yes, then what do you do? After the bishop captures, you bring your rook to E8. Check bravo, me. bravo, bravo. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Larry. Now check. King runs away. Queen check. The bishop has no choice but to capture the queen and now rook background mate. Good, 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 good. Let's go. How about this one? Ah, I know this. This is very interesting also. Very interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if we're going to get it. Very interesting. You have to think very, very well. Mm, very, very well. You are enjoying this one. That you're just licking your tongue. You're just licking all your fingers. Come on. Oh.
it's really interesting I'm trying to um, teach this boy how to calculate in his head you know maybe 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 he can I see the way it's calculating in his head he can't even touch this going to do anything he just has to calculate it all out figure it all out or maybe you can push his rating upwards to maybe 1800 it's 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 wonderful. So, queen times pawn f7. Okay. So, the king has to capture. Okay. Then you play, you take the queen on d8. Okay. And mm. so, it's most like if the rook captures. Okay. You put the the, nine, the rook on c two to c seven. Okay. And so once he if he cut if he move back. What's moving back? You want you the king? To, you want the king to move back? No way. When I have a knight that can capture you back on c seven. So once the knight comes, okay. use the other rook to, to capture. capture. And my king can just go to what's it called? And my king will just come to uh maybe f8 and be hundred percent safe there. And guess what? You've lost bishop, queen, rook. <laughs> For what? For just queen. Or maybe queen and knight. That's all. So you're losing. You know that, you know that, um, <clears throat> to checkmate, imagine this rook is not here. You know this is a checkmate, right? The queen just comes a checkmate, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's one. The number two, imagine this queen is not here. This queen just comes to e7, and um, that's a checkmate, isn't it? Now I've given you the hints. Bye bye. Continue. <laughs> Let's see if we can calculate it now. Mm. Now it becomes very simple. Mm. Uh, I already found it. Um, something I just, def it's just a function of deflection. That's all. Just deflect. Deflect, deflect, deflect. Pin, 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 deflect. The queen won't be able to move. What's a deflect, for example? Um, I'm not going to tell you the answer first. Let's see if, <laughs> if he can get it. If he gets it, then fine. If he doesn't, then I'll have to find the answer. Um. Okay. Rook to C seven. Oh, rook to C seven. Ouch. Okay, go on. So if the knight captures the rook, okay. You will use your your rook to capture the knight. Okay. Uh huh. And so the queen will now be forced to go away. Uh, it will go to c7. Yes, the queen will be forced to go to c7. Now what? Um. <laughs> and uh, the queen will be on c7 and it's still stopping you from coming here. The rook is here, it's stopping you from coming there. So that calculation is not complete because it is c7. That was, it's, it's close anyway. It's close. It's really, really close. So think about it. You're close. So, um, no.
It's about deflection. You need to do everything possible to deflect, block or deflect. You don't have it too. Just remember again, if you can get a coin here, that's a checkmate. If you can get a coin here, that's a checkmate. These are the two good squares to put your coin on. It's a checkmate. So now, we need to look for ways that this queen either leaves here or we even capture the queen. You know, it's, it's, it's that. It's, it's, it's that um, kind of thinking. Ah, yeah, oh, finally. Okay, good. Sure. Let's go. Star, um, Don't eat those wires, come on. Star, rook to c8. Rook to c8. That's the and that's the best move. Okay, continue from there. Rook to c8. Um, star, if the bishop captures, you mm -hmm. use the you use the other rook to capture. Think. Are you thinking now? Yeah. If the bishop yes, captures. So you. So it's either the bishop, rook, or queen can capture. Okay, so what's going to capture? I'm going to one for all of them. Okay, let's go so one by one. Bishop, so if the bishop captures, okay. you will use your other rook to The one for Peter. So if you use your rook to capture, the other rook will capture it. And once the bishop captures, you will use your queen to capture the queen on d8. Checkmate. But okay, now one more thing. If the rook should go to c8, I'm not going to use my rook to capture. I'm going to use my bishop to capture your rook first. So what will you do? If you use your bishop to capture, I'll capture the queen on d8. Exactly. <laughs> okay, now I'm not going to capture with my bishop anymore. I'm going to capture with my queen. If your queen captures, you just bring your queen to e7. And that's checkmate. That's it. That's it. That's it. So it took you so long. I had to give you some hints for you to be able to see it very well. See, the idea was. Mm -hmm. If the, rook, if the rook, yes, that's the idea. That's how you have to calculate, and you have to find it because it is there. The rook actually needed to cut this. Um, stop. You see, it's a pain now. You see, um, if the queen captures, uh, you have the chance to checkmate. If the bishop captures, you have the chance to use the queen to checkmate on d8. So that's how it works. You have to be able to see all these things, mm -hmm. Larry. You have to. You, you do have a choice. Is that clear? Uh huh. Next, yeah, next, next, know. next, next. Let's go next. We are still in um. We are in number, uh, we're number six now. Number six. Let's go. Oh, okay. This one. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah ha ha ha. Mm hmm. Mm. You, you capture the bishop on g4 with your queen. Okay. So the king has no choice but to capture. Okay. And so you play your bishop to e2. Checkmate. checkmate. Correct. That's correct. That's queen check. Um, king takes and um, bishop checkmate. That's it. That's brilliant. That was that was fast. <laughs> that was really really fast. Let's go number seven. Let's go number seven. Let's go number seven. Oh, this one. Hmm. Mm. I know, I know this one. Yes, let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is a little bit tough. The, the, what does that work? Oh, yes, that's it. It's bees, 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 and boobs. Okay, I found it. I got it. <laughs> hey, I got it, got it. Mm, I got it, got it. Let's go, let's go. What's that sound? 
Come on, sound. guys. You don't, you, you don't need that sound. Come on. to East Gate. Okay. But the, once the king moves to D6, C7. Okay. They use the bishop on G5 to capture the knight on E7. Okay. So once the rook captures. Uh huh. <laughs> you've not even you've not seen the mate and you were giving me the answer. You've you you yourself you've not calculated till mate and you just started talking. No, it doesn't work that way. Calculate it to mate in your head, then you now start giving the answers. It's as simple as that. So you captured the pawn on D6. Have you calculated it, fin finished calculating it before you start talking? No, not fully. You have to fully, fully. you have to sit to the mate. You have 1 minute 57 seconds. And in fact, you, you don't have one minute seven, probably have one minute um, 20 seconds because I have to use the remaining seconds to even do it for you if you don't get it right. So now you see the clock is ticking, you're under pressure, time is going. You have to check with your opponent in less than one minute, and you have to see it. And it's there, you can't afford to miss it. So let's give it go. Come on, what do you mean? I can't afford to miss it. <laughs> so let's go calculate. So I think I've seen it. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to D6. The king captures back. Uh -huh. Go on. You'll bring your bishop to F4. Brilliant. And the king has no choice but to go back to... And so you, then you bring your rook. Mm -hmm. And then so you bring your bishop to E6. That's it, and he got it in less than one minute. <laughs> That's it. But I have to give you the hint of sacrificing your queen. So, mm. uh, I was really looking at ones for sacrificing queen, but I wasn't able to. Finish. Queen takes pawn check. King takes now, and we have um, bishop checks first, and the the bishop stops this king from coming towards this square. So the only square the king has right now is to go back to where it's coming from, and uh, which is d7. And now this bishop finishes it there. That's the power of the two bishops. See, brilliant guys, powerful guys. Okay, I think um, that'll be all for today. And um, that's seven, right? We'll continue from there um, in our next meet.